to Goulburn Yurt Work started in a little shearing shed in Goulburn. I'm a farmer, shepherd's my name, that's my job. And at the end of 1970, it was time to leave the farm and go to work in another place. I traveled to California, looking for something to do on the farm. Enterprise is my love, and I was looking in California till something happened and I met some wonderful religious people building a yurt on a fair ground. I was invited to do volunteer work, the best job I ever did. The people making yurts invited me to help. Don't talk to me, just help, they said. Look, you're Australian, you can work with us for a month and we'll give you something to do on your farm when you come back to Goulburn. So at that point, head down, excitement, my life changed. After one month returning to Goulburn to the little shearing shed and at that point I began with a baby model yurt which I took to the Down to Earth Festival and introduced the yurt to Australia. Well the difficulty really was um, advertising and so it was necessary to employ all the imagination possible to portray the building wherever we could do it. And it included letterbox drops, it included I built yurts in churches and in, uh, in shopping centres, I built yurts on highways, I built yurts everywhere and included many people in my life including family. We took a trip up the coast, my young children helped me build a baby yurt in Bellingen Valley down to Coffs Harbour. Wherever we could take the miniature yurt it was a way of in introducing a new idea to Australia. When it comes to milestones I have to say one of the early advantages in uh, advertising this, this remarkable and unusual product is that a certain TV uh, personality, Ray Martin, said, Mike, you can build this on the stage, provided you reduce it to a quarter size and build it in six minutes. Seemingly impossible, but understanding how vital it was for me to make this business work in Australia, I reduced the size, put it on my ute and went to Channel 9 and built it in six minutes. Many people in Sydney, in particular, acknowledged the recognition of this wonderful building and start and my business started in the North Shore where 75 yurts did land on the ground. That was the beginning of the business. The mission of this company is to produce low cost housing. It's possible to produce a house from any one of the number of yurts we produce. We make very small yurts, we make large yurts, some yurts are double storey. But with all of the roundhouses we make, cedar, pine. It is possible to begin with the original circle and then extend by adding a bathroom, a kitchen. It's something that can be done by owners, it can be done by the yurt works, but flexibility is the key thing to make this a very dynamic building popular. The very small yurt of 4.2 is a building which is designed to provide an instant room in the backyard. It does not even need council approval in most parts of Australia. As the yurts go bigger and the circles grow from 5 metres across, 6 metres diameter, 8.4 metres diameter, it is then possible to take any one of these circles, cedar, pine, insulated with beautiful windows and, and a rake roof. It is possible now to add rooms and a young couple could then choose to build one room, then another. As the family grows, a series of rooms can be built and therefore over a period of 10 years, one council approval, I might add, will allow for this entire large house to accumulate as the family grows. It can be demounted, but in most cases it is extended as families grow. And I see a great future for housing in this country where the yurt could play a very big part. It is possible that such an unusual and simple design could be useful for the indigenous people of Australia. It would be a real um, success for me to see the people of Australia and the outback especially take advantage of the frames that are provided in this very modest roundhouse. Held together with a steel cable, the compression ring principle is the key to all yurts. Very, very uncomplicated. 
and it's, I see the possibility of native people learning the skill of building and enjoying something modest, placed on the ground, no timber floor, possibly with galvanised iron, something available to those people, and it could very well be a breakthrough. I love the experience of meeting new customers. The interest is people will arrive at the factory or at my yurt farm, where there's a number of yurts situated around a farm dam. I love it when excited people arrive and want to look at something unusual and different. I also enjoy the opportunity of helping people build the yurt and showing them how to do it. I think it's a lot of fun to excite people who are interested in their own house, whether it be the original yurt or the yurt plus extended rooms, and giving them a manual indicating that they can do it themselves. It's a thrill to see them get started, it's a thrill to see them finish, and this is the part I love.